Okay, so we're going to take a some, uh, look at something that is kind of an alternative to the polar front theory of how mid-latitude cyclones form and and how they intensify, or at least how they, they keep their, where they get their energy from, a mid-latitude cyclone. And you're going to see that you'll basically see a cold front and a warm front, and you can see, I'm sure, where we can ultimately get an occluded front out of these um, these three air masses interacting with each other. So the conveyor belt model kind of like if you think of what a conveyor belt is, is basically it relocates material within a factory. That's what I think of a conveyor belt. Okay, and see if you can kind of see the conveyor belt here. Now the conveyor belt model is not one that I necessarily emphasize um, as much as the, um, the polar front theory, but I don't know. So here's the conveyor belt model. I guess one way to put it is I've never asked a test question over the conveyor belt model. <laughs> so we have three sectors of air, um, and I bet you can see them. We can maybe call this sector A over here in yellow, sector B here, and sector C um, over here, kind of the blue, and B is red. So you see your characteristic um, cold front and warm front that is part of an early on mid-latitude cyclone. And then basically um, the, can, the warm air is going to be lifted up and over kind of the cold uh, sector of air in front of it. And notice this can kind of hopefully see the three dimensions to this figure. It's a good figure, I think. And the cold air is going to be kind of lifted up and over um, the air in front of it and it is going to kind of mix. And over here we have um, dry cooler air is segment A. And notice that um, it actually sinks because uh, dry air is more dense than, than moist air and it, it pushes forward the cold front. So this is kind of a 3D sort of look at it down here. And then actually up here is basically what it would look like, what the same um, scenario would look like if you were to look at it on a surface map. And it's very something very similar to what we've been talking about, where you can have a centralized low pressure up here swinging around a cold front and a warm front. And can you kind of see the, um, the comma? shape, here's the head, and here's the tail. So this is an alternative to the polar front theory.